That boy is our last hope. No. There is another. At the end of Revenge of the Sith, Luke and Leia were split up in order to keep them hidden from the Empire until the time was right for them to be trained. Around 19 years old, Obi-Wan took Luke as his Jedi apprentice, teaching him the basics about the Force before falling to his former apprentice and Luke's father, Darth Vader. Kenobi's decision to reveal his true identity to Luke and to begin his training when he did made sense, but it also raises a puzzling question, which is, why didn't Yoda and Obi-Wan decide to train Leia at this time as well? Or at the very least, why didn't Obi-Wan instruct Luke to bring Leia with him to Dagobah in The Empire Strikes Back? After all, Yoda actually wanted to train Leia instead of Luke, which again raises the same question. Why did the Jedi believe training only one of the Skywalker children was smarter than training both of them? Surely, sending both of them together to confront their father would dramatically increase their chances of success. So here is exactly what went into that decision, and then after that I'll also explain why Yoda wanted to train Leia instead of Luke. The first and most obvious reason was that the offspring of Anakin Skywalker were truly the last hope for the Jedi and for the Rebellion. If both of them died, any chance of destroying the Sith would be lost. So while sending Luke to face Vader and Palpatine alone was very risky, and seemingly foolish, it was really the safer play. Yoda and Kenobi knew all too well what the consequences of their overconfidence could result in, so they chose to keep Leia a secret, both to the Emperor and to herself. This way, if Luke failed, they still had a safety net to fall back on, a backup plan which Yoda believed was even better than Plan A. In addition to that, Leia was a member of the Imperial Senate, and played a significant role in the Rebellion, whereas Luke was a simple farm boy growing up on a barren desert world and playing no role in the fight against the Empire until Obi-Wan had already begun his training without Yoda's stamp of approval. So not only was Luke far less important in managing the Rebellion and the Senate, but he now also had a leg up on Leia in terms of his understanding of the Force. And although Yoda still insisted that Leia should be trained over Luke, Obi-Wan was now able to play a card that even the Grand Master could not deny, telling Yoda that he had foreseen Luke's success through the netherworld of the Force, which of course was a realm that Yoda had not yet become a part of. And so he eventually agreed to train Luke instead of Leia to face his father and the Emperor, and hopefully to carry on the legacy of the Jedi. In regards to why Yoda insisted that Leia was the better candidate to be trained, his logic was pretty simple. Leia's childhood had already molded her into a much more mature individual, who also had a far better grasp on the magnitude of the war and how a Jedi could shift the tide. She was raised as the Princess of Alderaan, and had quickly worked her way up the ranks of the Imperial Senate, whereas Luke had grown up as a moisture farmer, frequently showing immaturity, complaining to his uncle, and having to be saved by Obi-Wan on numerous occasions. This is precisely why we see Yoda pretending to be some annoying space creature when Luke first arrives on Dagobah. He was testing Luke's patience, observing his tendencies and looking for any alarms that said he was too much like his father so that Yoda could then decide whether or not Luke was worthy of being trained. And even though Luke did fail many of these tests, Obi-Wan did still convince Yoda that Luke was the right choice. So who do you guys think was the better candidate, and do you think that training Luke and Leia together would have been the better choice? Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video to support the channel, and may the Force be with you, always.